much more beautiful than I thought it was going to be. No future. No I futuro. Wow. Honestly, I don't know how this thing is still standing. It's one brick away from f toppling over. This is what it feels like to walk through a war zone, even though it's quite an old one. As we walk around, we can see the place is thrashed. One of the special things about the destruction of this city is that it was blown to pieces by an air raid. That might not sound so special, but this is right before World War II when air raids, bombing by airplane was a brand new thing. This is one of the very first towns in the entire world to be destroyed that way. This is also young days epoch, like it looks like a couch from the 50s, yeah. Whoa. The, oh, the 30s? Thir the 30s, that's right. Oh, there was fire. Oh my god. Look, this wood is burned. See? I guess when you have a war, of course, there'd be fires. This town, actually, they left in this state. They left it completely destroyed. Normally, you'd rebuild a new town, and they did do that, but next door. They wanted to keep this town the way it was as a reminder how terrible war is. I hear bees. Hear that? See, a huge bees nest. Hear them all? Tres, dos, uno. Rapido, rapido, rapido. I believe it's all made out of brick as well. Look at this here, giant crack. Easily broken off. This place was abandoned 80 years ago. I'm surprised the brick is still standing. Just arrived at the second church here. You can see it's got another beautiful tower. We haven't been inside yet but it's called Iglesia de San Agustin. Didn't think it was possible, but this place keeps on getting cooler and cooler. No, it feels really peaceful. Here, but not in the other one. The other one felt a bit uh, chaotic. Like something. Like heavy. Some of these arches, it's amazing they're still standing. Look at some of the cracks forming in the arches. So you can still see the painting, the carvings. Up top you can see this priest carved into the dome. There's still angels. There's an eagle here. One thing that we just noticed that's actually a little bit crazy is, hopefully you can see because it's a bit high contrast, see those? Those are bullet holes. Those are all bullet holes scattered all across the church, next to the front door. Look, here's more. At some point, during the Civil War, people must have stormed in the church and just shot the place up. 
and now you can still see the scars of when that happened. That gives me goosebumps a little bit. People probably died in here. Probably? What are you talking about? They died. Tons of people. There's so there's hundreds of bullet holes in here. What if they were hiding from the enemy and then suddenly Super big bomb. I think it's a bit crazy because most of our generations have not seen a war. There was like the war in Iraq or something, but very far away. And I think we had grandparents that went to war, but at least I did. You probably didn't, I guess. No. Hmm. World War II for Canadians and Americans, but we don't, we're so disconnected from war. We don't really know what it does to your life. And so as people go old, get older and as people grow up, Yeah, so we just found out there is guided tours because all of a sudden a group of 40 people led by this woman with an intercom came, saw us, she yelled at us through the intercom and then ran over and told us we could only be on a guided tour. How, how did you get in here? And I was like... Yo no hablo español. No. <laughs> That's my. But I look like more Mexican than a nopal, right? So, or like Latina. I guarantee so. you, only a few of my Mexican subscribers know what a nopal is. <laughs> oh, long story short, you can come here. There is a fence, uh, but you can get guided tours with them. And she knows a lot more about this place than we do sí. because we couldn't find very much online actually about it. Y con las visitas guiadas te dicen toda la información. De cualquier manera fue muy buena la aventura de venir y explorar y tener el chiste viejo para nosotros. La verdad. Uh -huh. oh, oh, oh. Is, that a, is that a fart gun? A gun that shoots farts? No. But farts that can kill somebody. <laughs> like yours sometimes. Hey-o! What the fuck? <laughs> Look who's talking.